Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how the members of the band Green Day have changed. You will get to know their ages and life stories in brief. Watch this video till the end to see how all the musicians of this punk rock band looked in their youth and early career, and how they look now in 2023. Enjoy watching. The childhood of Michael Pritchard, better known as Mike Durnt, cannot be called simple. When he was an infant, his biological mother gave him up for adoption. The adoptive parents divorced when Mike was seven years old, which also took a toll on his mental state. During his school years Dern became friends with Billy Joe Armstrong, with whom he spent a lot of time listening to and playing popular rock songs. When Mike and Billy were 14, they formed the band Sweet Children, which later became known as Green Day. After two albums on the independent label Lookout, the band became famous in the underground. In 1994 Green Day signed a contract with major label Reprise and recorded their third album Dookie in three weeks. The release took the second position in Billboard and became one of the best-selling albums in the world. In 95 Dookie won a Grammy Award for Best Alternative Album. This release popularized punk rock and Michael became one of the most recognizable bassists in the world. Subscribe to the channel not to miss my new exciting videos about rock stars. Let's keep going. John Kiffmeyer became interested in punk rock in his youth and chose a nickname in honor of his hometown of Al Sobrante. In 87 he joined Sweet Children, which changed its name to Green Day before the release of its debut EP 1000 Hours. In 90 the band's first album 39 Smooth premiered. That same year Kiffmeyer left the band to devote time to college studies. John now works as a stage director and shoots commercial work. Frank Wright, known to all Green Day fans as Tree Cool, is considered one of the best punk drummers of all time. Frank was born in Germany to a military family who moved his children to the United States. At the age of 12 a neighbor took Wright into a band called The Lookouts, where he came up with the nickname Tree Cool. In 1990 Frank was invited to join Green Day. Working on music was very time-consuming, so Tree Cool decided to drop out of high school and college. After the worldwide success of Dookie, the band released their fourth album Insomniac. The release had a heavier sound and darker lyrics, which did not appeal to many listeners. Nevertheless, the work entered the Billboard charts and was well received by critics. The album Nimrod premiered in 97. The fifth release had a more diverse sound and included elements of folk, hardcore and surf rock. Nimrod sold 81,000 copies in its first week and was certified double platinum. Raj Punjabi is the first drummer of the band. He studied in a California high school together with Billy Joe Armstrong and Mike Durnt. In 1987 the guys formed the band Sweet Children, which would change to the name we know a couple years later. Raj stayed in the band for about a year and left it in 88 without recording a single release with it. Punjabi continued to work in the music industry as a drummer and songwriter. He also began working with companies involved in the distribution and servicing of musical instruments. Billy Joe Armstrong is recognized as one of the greatest punk rock artists of all time. Billy began expressing his vocal talent from the age of five, and it was at that age that his first song Look For Love was recorded. When Armstrong was a teenager, his father died of cancer. And when his mom remarried, he compassed a song Why Do You Want Him as a sign of discontent. After meeting Mike Durant in the school cafeteria, the friends formed a band that became world famous. In 2000 Green Day released their sixth album Warning, which represented the biggest commercial downturn of their career. After low sales the band decided to change their image and approach to making music. The result was the punk rock opera American Idiot, which hit number one on the Billboard charts. The concept album won two Grammy Awards and marked a new upsurge in Green Day's creativity. The band went on to record many more great works, for which they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2015. Watch these videos to see more fascinating transformations of your favorite celebrities. See you in the next video.